Hello everyone, Max is here. Welcome back to the Heart Gold Soul Silver Let's Play. Last time we beat Jamie and made our way to Pellet Town, where we met Professor Oak and had him evaluate our Pokedex, as well as arrive at Cinnabar Island. This time, we're going to be continuing to the Seafoam Islands, and we have to be in a required battle. Alright, and there we go. Now, we are here at Seafoam Islands. Let me put a note on the sign. Cinnabar Gym has moved here. Leader Blaine. Yep. As I mentioned, Blaine's gym was destroyed when the volcano erupted on Cinnabar Island. As such, he moved to the Seafoam Islands for his new gym. Alright, well, let's continue. Now, I believe you do have to beat everyone in this... Actually, no, I'm pretty sure there's some people you don't actually have to beat to, be to get through the gym. But I'm just going to battle everyone, as you know. White lab code is a researcher's life. We may live in a cave like this, but we never forget to do the laundry. You know, even, even in a bad situation, these guys can make the best of it. I'm just going to be fast-forwarding through all these guys, because as much as I do like showing the trainer battles, I don't want to be commenting over all of them. Okay, there we go. So, we have beaten all the trainers in the gym. Now, one thing I find interesting about uh, his Kanto gym is that, like, all the gym leader trainers in there are, like, ex, uh, like, robbers and stuff like that that Blaine, like, set straight. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I like that. So, I used Flood a lot in those battles just because he kind of destroyed everything they had. Uh, am I gonna... Yeah, I'm probably going to keep Flood in the lead, because Flood's been doing a great job of everything right now. Now, Blaine, I like this guy. Hey, you, Pikachu, my gym is in a barrel and burnt down to the ground by the eruption, but I will not give up. Hey, take a look at this cave. We've turned into a gym, and I'm acting as gym leader. I will give you a gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. I like his, um, his sort of, like, backstory and everything, like he was a quiz show person. Unfortunately, they couldn't really do this in, uh, the Kanto games, even in this game. But in Let's Go, they, they did, and love, love what they did him in Let's Go. Starting off, he has three Pokémon, and he is a Fire-type Specialist, as you might have guessed from the gym. His Macargo is probably one of the highest level Pokémon we've seen so far, level 54, with Flame Bind for the ability. It is holding a White Herb, however, this is not his Ace. Something very different about Blaine's team compared to every single other gym leader so far, and even actually after him, is all of his Pokémon are holding an item. They're all holding a White Herb. Its moves are Overheat, Sunny Day, Smog, and Rock Slide. The White Herb is for that Rock, is for that Overheat, which drops its special attack by, I believe, two stages. It is meant to allow it to use Overheat at full power twice, which is amazing. Going for Rapidash next. I think it's time to go with our Pokemon. His Rapidash is actually his strongest Pokemon. Its ability is Flash Fire. With Quick Attack, Bounce, Overheat, and Flare Blitz, this thing can be pretty powerful if it gets a hit off. Yeah, actually, uh, Tyrantor would have completely walled you out, but eh, what the heck. Over. Oh, we are seeing that Overheat right now. Come on. You don't. I don't think you really have much of a special attack, and yeah, his, it's pretty powerful. It's level. 15, 59, that, that's powerful, that did a lot of damage, even to me, and I'm especially bulky, I don't think that you have that strong of a special attack stat, so that's respectable damage. Come on, okay, 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 no, 
Oh, that was a crit. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, man. Oh, he... Okay, he's gonna go for the heal. Come on, I gotta get another one of those because I gotta get the stat boost. Because I'm not sure we can tank another overheat or whatever. Like, he probably is gonna use overheat again. I'm also probably gonna get down to low HP, but I'm... Wow, that did nothing. That really didn't do much. And then you are pretty decently leveled, so that's not too surprising. Let's go for ancient power again. Bounce. Okay. Hmm. Well, you're gonna hit us again, so I might as well go for Metronome, see if we can get something fun. Just try, at least. It didn't... Oh, you suck. You freaking suck. At least we didn't get paralyzed this turn. Aw, oh, come on, dynamic punch, that would've been awesome! Just Telekiss punching with its wings and automatic that would've been awesome. Alright. What are you gonna do again? You're gonna go for... You're gonna go for... Please, don't rotate again. Okay, let's see if we can get Metronome on something good. If we can get, like, an... Actually, if a 1 KO move wouldn't actually work on you, because you're level. Come on, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it. Oh, I my heart dropped, and I was like, oh no, it's gonna faint. Okay, good. We hung on with that little HP, and yes, we didn't get paralyzed. Come on. That's a good for sight. That's useless. Ah, uh, crud. Okay, let's... Well, we're gonna be using a full restore on Galleon this turn. <laughs> Come on. At least it doesn't have too many good things it can do to us now, because now it, it pretty much used up its trump card, which was overheat. And if you can survive an overheat twice, it's not gonna be doing much to us. Because Flare Blitz... I mean, actually, Flare Blitz... That would hurt, because we have lower physical defense. That actually would hurt a lot. Then again, you would also take a replay. Oh, right, so you have lower HP, right? That makes sense. Okay, okay, come on. This has been a really long fight, and it's surprising, considering it's Rapidash of all things. And I'm not saying that about Rapidash, it's just not something I would expect to give me a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's think about this. Air Slash is 75 base power, with same to attack bonus. That would be one, that'd be sort of 35 plus like 37. No, ancient power is still stronger. Okay, he's going for flare blitz. Okay, if we can survive this, we can KO with ancient power because it's gonna take recoil damage and ooh. You you a special attacker? You you are you a special attack? Do you have I don't think Rapid Ash has a good special attack compared to everything else. Then again, it could just be the power of uh Overheat? Let, let's... Let, let's see. Let, let's actually see it. Uh... they have... Same stats, or no? Actually, it does have higher physical attack. Okay, so it is just the power of Overheat, then. Good to know. So, Rapidash is down. It's in Magmar. This is his last Pokemon. I would honestly have expected this to have been his ace, because, I mean, in the anime, it was his Magmar that was what Ash's Charizard fought against. Did... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Magmar that was, like, the Pokemon that they fought against, and... You know, you don't have Charizard to use Seismic Toss, but we have Lander. I mean, why did I go for Lander? I probably should have gone to... Probably should have gone to, uh, Godzilla. His Magmar, Ability Flame Body. It's male, holding a white herb. I'll show you the spirit of this cave gym. I like this guy, he's awesome. We're gonna go for Discharge. His moves are Sunny Day, as it's using right now, Confuse Ray, Thunder Punch, and Overheat. With Sun Up, that Overheat is gonna be nuclear. That's, it's, it's a 50% damage boost, yeah. Yes, we got that Paralysis off. Yes, it is an increase of 50% on that overheat. I think it's hard, we can still do it. That move hits hard to begin with, now it's gonna get even harder. Okay, he doesn't use it, so it doesn't really even matter. All right, that was, that was good. That actually was a pretty good move for him to have on a Pokemon because Sunny Day, I guess Sunday and Macargo too, so being able to decrease the power of water moves is really good. I mean, he doesn't have Solar Beam on hand, which you know, isn't that good. We beat him, and he had a good chunk of change in his pocket, so even for leaving in the cave gym, he got some good money. I have burnt out. <laughs> uh, you make bad puns, too. I love this guy. He got the Volcano Badge. Love the names of these. I love the names of the badges, just Volcano Badge. That just sounds awesome. So it's considering he's got uh, Eruption, actually, last episode, so that's, that's very fitting. I'll give you this, too. It's called Overheat. 
Slight drawback, powerful, but it's well worth it. Oh, I agree. That thing did a lot of damage, especially to Togekiss. Put TM in EM50. I did lose this time, but I'll win next time. I'll rebuild the Cinnabar Gym and we'll hold a rematch. Well, I'm not sure we'll have you having a rematch at the Cinnabar Gym like you hope. Uh, do you leave Tibus back? Do you think we're down right now? Oh. Okay, so no, we actually do have to go all the way around. It was a. But yeah, you actually don't even encounter any Pokemon here. I like this place. I, I like how the gym actually does look like it's a flame if you look closely. You kind of like how uh, Whitney's gym was a Clefairy. Oops, did not mean to do that. Well, we're gonna be surfing back to uh, Cinnabar Island, so I will meet you guys there. We're gonna be exploring the Seafoam Islands later, but I don't really want to do that right now. Back on dry land. We have reached Cinnabar Island again. Let's talk to Blue again. If you want to bet on me for real, you have to come to Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting for you. Well, we've been issued a challenge by Blue. Don't think it's one we can ignore. I'll meet you guys at the Viridian City Gym. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more content. So this was a bit of a short episode. It's just... Well, actually... We might be able to get a double feature in. Actually, well, yeah, Blue is a, a gym that I would like to do kind of its own thing for, so. I will see you guys. It's, yeah, we're going to be handling that in the next episode. See you guys then.